Next, we're going to watch Dr. Turvey as he helps a couple, Mitch and Thomasina, work through some of the exercises in their couple's workbook that are designed to help them establish realistic expectations as they form a step family. Both Mitch and Thomasina have been married before, and each will be bringing two children to the upcoming marriage, with the children's ages ranging from 9 to 17. Let's join Dr. Turvey as he discusses realistic expectations with Mitch and Thomasina. Miss, we're talking about choosing realistic expectations mm -hmm. for the step family that you guys are going to create. So each had the chance to kind of go through there and look at some of that stuff and some of the, the myths versus realities and those expectations. Thomas, you know, why don't you take the, take the uh, lead here and maybe tell me one of the things uh, from this page, this exercise that really struck you and maybe what you thought about that. And we'll unpack that, maybe what you thought that would mean for, you know, some frustration, disappointment, if that's going to work for you or just... Right. How that works. Well, I can say that two of them really stuck out for me particularly, and one of them was um, the bonding with children and being able to sort of step in and kind of take over as the, as the parent, the mm -hmm. mom in mm -hmm. this case. And um, I guess I had some misconceptions about that. I was hoping it would go a little smoother. Okay. And um, there have been a few little nuts and bolts that have happened along the way with just trying to introduce some sort of routine with um, Leah and David. Okay. So, In what ways? Tell me a little bit more about that. <sighs> well, my girls, they're so used to me and how we kind of function through our day. Um, yeah, China, they have a different rhythm. You yeah. Know, their okay. day is set up a little bit different than, um, like for me, with my children, um, especially with David being a little bit older, he's kind of on his own. And so yeah. okay. it, there's less of that one-on-one -on -one there. Right. Then, and I'm trying to include Leah into more things that we do, not just fun things like going shopping and stuff, but everyday routine stuff because I know we're going to be, you know, moving in fairly soon together and I don't want it to be such a, a clash if there is anything. I'm right. kind of trying to slowly incorporate things and I thought it would be a smoother transition. And I'm getting a little bit of... Um, resistance. A little bit of resistance. A little bit of resistance. Was there another one on there, Thomasina, that yeah, kind of struck you? Yeah, um, I know I had mentioned, you know, just being able to easily form a new family. Mm. Um, I, uh, I, I certainly wasn't thinking that the day we get married, everybody's going to move in together yeah. and it's just going to kick off from there. But um, I, I just did think it would be a little bit easier than, than how it's been going. I mm -hmm. thought, you know, over the next couple of months, you know, they've spent a lot more time at our house, mm -hmm. at my house with my girls, or vice versa, you know, we've had sleepovers, with, you know, mm -hmm. and really thinking that it would be more fun. Um, just, just a little bit know. awkward at first, it sounds like. It was, like. it was yeah. more awkward than I, than I thought, but, right. you know, I've just kind of had to be really open and listen more than talk. I thought, maybe I'll just go in and, you know, talk more like the mom and um, things would fall into place somehow, but I, I think I've just had to be more aware of being more open and listening. Definitely. Mitch, what about you? What are, what are one of those uh, expectations that, that kind of struck you that you think well, may have led us um, to? Kind of falling it. into that, I thought it would be um, because we love each other and we met and, and you know, we have that for ourselves. It was odd to me that everybody else around us didn't love each other automatically. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, that seemed... I thought that would come a little more automatically. Okay. Yeah. And it was a little jarred when it wasn't um, what I expected it to be in the yeah. beginning. And so we've had to work at that. Because you guys have been dating about three years, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. And so I'm assuming in the beginning, the kids kind of weren't really involved. It was just you two maybe. Um, yes, uh, on purpose. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. We didn't really introduce them to each other or tell them that we were serious until we were pretty serious. Yeah. Well, we knew half, that yeah. we were moving okay. in a direction that um, was going to result in a family. Yeah, and I really uh, respected um, that we both kind of thought the same so. about that. Very much so. so you're on the, the same kids, so, I mean, I think that I didn't expect as much resentment or anger on their part, I guess, yeah. in seeing that we really had found someone. Uh, yeah, okay. and it was, it was one of those moments <laughs> where you go, okay, can't you see how happy we are? Yeah, or this will pass in a day or two. Yeah, right. and, and it didn't. Right. Um, and there were a lot of questions. There were a lot of questions that were asked of us, you know, uh, why? Why is this so important to you? Why do we have to? Um, and answering those questions, we had to really look at our relationship and go, okay, 
why are we doing this? Is right. this the right thing to do? And it, it did. It helped us a lot. Yeah. It oh, oh when lot. you got to answer yeah. questions from kids, you will learn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's and I true. Think it brought us closer. Absolutely. And then, uh, I mean, I, cer I sort of welcome the challenge of working through this mm -hmm. together. Yeah. You know, it has certainly made us closer. Very much. It's been tough for my son because he's always been close to uh, my ex-wife, his mother. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of resistance of, of bringing another person into my life. Um, but for my daughter, she's kind of welcomed the idea of okay. having sisters. Yeah. Uh, she's growing up with a brother and an older brother. <laughs> Ready for and change, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, having sisters, but that also brings uh, challenges. Right. You know, um, uh, Tony is the same age. And uh, both Jean, 12. Yeah. yeah. 12-year-old girls. <laughs> That's a whole nother world. Um, <laughs>